Hello, this is Father Daniel Kim, Marital Missioner, and welcome to our daily Gospel reading and reflection. Today's Gospel reading is according to St. Matthew, chapter 10, verses 1 to 7. Jesus summoned his twelve disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits to drive them out, and to cure every disease and every illness. The names of the twelve apostles are these. First, Simon called Peter, and his brother Andrew, James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John, Philip, and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew the tax collector, James, the son of Alphaeus, and Thaddeus, Simon the Canaanian, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed Jesus. Jesus sent out these twelve after instructing them thus, Do not go into pagan territory or enter a Samaritan town. Go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. As you go, make this proclamation. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. I find the calling of the twelve apostles very hopeful and encouraging and not for the reasons that one might think. I find it reassuring because of how unremarkable and prone to making mistakes the Twelve were. Basically, they are not unlike any other Joe or Jody out there, perhaps even more damaged, with the exception of St. John the Beloved. Unlike the superheroes of pop culture, say like Superman and Batman, for example, it is hard for us to relate because we're not from a distant planet with supernatural strength and abilities to fly, nor are we eccentric billionaires who are not only the fittest person on Earth, but also the smartest. It's an ideal that we will never achieve because it is impossible. Hence, they are known as superheroes and not as saints. Because sainthood is something we as Christians strive for because it is achievable through the grace of God and our openness to the Holy Spirit. So in short, the apostles were not perfect. They were human, just like you and me. The reassuring part of it all were their openness to be changed through the gospel and encounter with Christ. With that, anything is possible with God. And this narrative and opportunity continues onto our time and beyond until Christ comes again. Thank you for listening to today's Gospel reading and reflection. Please be sure to tune in again tomorrow. Have a blessed and encouraging day. If you enjoyed today's Gospel reading and reflection, please make sure that you subscribe wherever you're listening to podcasts. Also, if you know somebody who may find value in today's reading, please make sure that you share it with them. To learn more about how you can support the work that Mary Knoll does around the world, please visit us at MaryKnollSociety.org. And if you're interested in subscribing to our online magazine, please feel free to visit us at MaryKnollMagazine.org. Thank you once again for spending your time with us today, and God bless.